if you're in doubt, just grab your old gasket and use it. You can look and see where the bolts go. Make sure you have them all in there. Because some of them are hidden, especially the ones underneath here or over here. Some of these are pretty hard to remember if you don't do this every day. So I just use this to verify I have them all in there. Okay, go ahead and put the front cover on. Now before you put it on, inspect here. Make sure you don't have too much wear. Because the way the oil works as it picks it up, it'll bring it through here and force it through the, the cavities inside the engine. And if you have too much wear between these, you'll actually it'll just bypass. So inspect this for wear. Okay, now one of the things I do when you get these seals new from Ford, the ring inside here comes with a beveled edge or the smaller edge facing this way. I like to flip them over so I have the blunt edge to push it on. I show that in one of the rear main seal install videos. Um, and I, I show it with the stallion tools that I get from Freedom Racing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that in a few pointers here as I do it. I'm going to get it installed to lock tight on this. There's, there's a dowel we need to align on the crank with the tool. So here I have my bolt right to the right of it. Install that. I like to install these only finger tight. So there's room for a little bit of adjustment. So I just snug them down. That way I know it's seated, but yet it can still move. I don't tighten them up no more than by hand. Okay, I have the wear ring flipped around and the Loctite installed on it. Go ahead and put that on. I like to put these on by hand so that way you're not stressing the, uh, the bolt on the front here, wearing it out. I use this quite a bit, so just to save the tool, I use it, I install it by hand. It's not that big of a deal. Get the installer online from freedomracing.com. They have really good prices. As you can see, they went on pretty much no effort. It's actually a perfect install. It's right at the right depth. Press the wear ring on at the same time as the seal. Just wipe off a little bit of the excess lock tight there. And now I have the seal that's perfectly flush right where we want it. One of the things I strongly suggest, especially if this is your first one, make sure the O-ring went in good. You may even want to go ahead and add water and fill it up and test it before you reassemble the rest of it, just in case it got snagged on the way in. I have done that once and I've learned to check it before I get it all the way together. And all we have to do is reassemble the rest of the front end and uh, add coolant so it doesn't leak. <laughs> 